Hello, my dear students. Welcome to your own channel by Juice 9th and 10th. And yes, the term 2 season is coming very, very close to us. Yes, I understand. And based on our, our previous sessions, I found that still, see, we have some fear of what is going to come, how will we prepare, do I, do I really have everything with me or, or am, am I forgetting something, right? These kind of questions are coming. So that's why today's session is for that. You demanded it and that's why we are here with it, right? Welcome Bhakti, Anshida, Disha, yes, Sangeeta, Harshwardhani, Broken X, good evening, good evening. Nice, today was a science exam, very good, very good. So feeling confident, huh? nice. Hey Charvi, Mayank. Now, you know, today's session, before your exam, I wanted to do something which is a little different from what we used to do. So there are two ways in which we get motivation of what we are doing. First is, is it really helpful? Is it really applicable in the real world? So this is one question. So that's why. The thing which we ignore the most, the practicals. So I'll show you exactly a question of our syllabus, which can come in board and how it is implemented practically, right? Theory versus practicality of one question. This is today's session's first agenda. Second one is, guys, name will be taken, right? Good questions, good answers, name is always there, right? So second is, uh, we did a mentee session in which there are a few questions which were unexpectedly answered by a minority, right? Very small set of people were able to answer that. So that's why today we are going to take care of those questions and these questions and the doubt which you always have. Brightness, heat, power, resist <laughs> resistance, right? So all these things will take care and no, no, Lavya. Today there is no menti. I mean, there is no scope for menti. No, 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 menti. No, 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 menti. Based on menti, we'll understand. See, I, I can't, I don't want to go through, through a whole syllabus now. Ab utra time nahi hai ki hum pura pura syllabus dubara se kare. So, aaj hum pinpointed cheeze karenge, the top three concepts. And I'm pretty sure, see, it's been very long time no, since you and me are together. I know where you are struggling. So, let's focus on that. Yeah, yeah, Jayanta, please ask it out. Thank you, thank you, Krishna. Yes, thank you, Sadesh. All right. So, let's start with this one question. Pramila, you'll understand. Just attend the session very carefully. You'll understand why today we are not doing menti. Yes, yes. Hi, Yogi. Pata hai, pata hai. <laughs> yes. Rate of heat dissipation. All right. Okay. One question. Let's start. And today, what I want you to do is be ready with your pen, notebook. Aaj a question, question nahi hai. Today, one question is not like just one question. We'll dissect the whole question, the all the possibilities possible in that one particular question. All right. Okay. Let's start. Hai na? Oh, hello, Arjuna. Tick. Find the total current through the circuit if the bulbs are of resistance 9.5 ohms. All right. Look simple, no? Hai na? Pratyush. Oh, it's a, it's a it's a huge demand. But you know what? See, PCB separately we have done marathon sessions, so those are important. Aaj is pe dhyan dena. Bahut interesting hai because I'm pretty hopeful that after this session. You should never struggle with these concepts. So understand and try to answer. Come on, go on. Total current through the circuit if the bulbs are of resistance 9.5 ohms. So first of all, I'll tell you the steps which you are you are taking into account. Voltage given to you is 4 volts. Alright. Then, okay, sir, I have to find the total current. Means emitter is in this branch, right? In this branch. This is where the total current will get, hai na? All right, Rishit has given answer 4.7. Nice, very, very good, very fast, Rishit. Or it's here. So basically, in this branch emitter is there. Fine. So to do that, we have to find the equivalent resistance. Correct? How much did you get the equivalent resistance? That's the first question. Question number one. Okay, 4.72. Equivalent resistance. See, this is 9.5 ohms. This is 9.5 ohms and this is also 9.5 ohms. All right. So this is in parallel and these two are in series. So this will be what? 9.5 into 2. Correct. 
19. Alright, so what we have is 9.5 and 19 ohms in parallel. Yes, correct, correct, Rishit. Agamvir, voice, is, is the voice problem for anyone else? Sorry, I forgot to ask, am I clearly audible and visible? I think I am, because I haven't heard, only Agamvir is having a problem, I think. Agamvir, just try to refresh if you are in a tab or something. Right? So, these two. So, I'll tell you, the R equivalent will come out to be around 6.33 ohms. Right? Super audible. <laughs> nice. So, 6.33 ohms will be the equivalent resistance. Alright. Oh, Pramila. Okay, okay. Thanks, thanks. I'll take this feedback. Right? So, R equivalent is coming out to be 6.33 ohms. This is the R equivalent. Fine. Alright. What is the total current? I will be how much? 4 upon 6.33. Pramila, I think video quality might be one issue. Nice. 0. 0.63. Who gave the answer? Baiju's training. Nice. 0. 0.63 amperes. 0. 0.63 amperes. Is, guys, this is calculation only. So, the question is asking you, find the total current. So, which side or where did you do you put the ammeter that it gives you total current? From here till here, this whole thing, right? Here you can put the ammeter to get the total final current, right? The total current. So, that's why. This is I. It will be distributed like I1 and I2. Correct. Hai na? Yes, Sartha. Correct. 0 0.63. 0 0.63. Sujata. Mayank. Nice. Pappi Verma. Correct. It's okay, Pratik. It's okay. Right? So... The current will be distributed, so that's why you, have, you are trying to find this, the total current. That is coming out to be 0.63 Ampere. Anybody has any problem in this till now? Fine. So, got the total current. Fairly simple, guys. Fairly simple. So, today I'm trying to teach you how to analyze a circuit completely. See, in circuit there is no, what do I say, a perfect method, right method or wrong method. A lot of times... Through a lot of ways, you can reach a one particular answer. So that's why. That is today what we are trying again. Hey na? So, just everyone listen carefully again. Bhai, this is the total current. This is, the current will be distributed. Why? Because this is the first branch. This is the second branch. Current is coming, distributed, getting distributed into two branches. So I1 and I2. Fine. So what is asked? Total current. That is I is asked. Hey na? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's okay, Sardak. We'll, we'll take care of it. So this I is being asked. So that's why. How to find this I? You will solve this circuit first. Hai na? This circuit is currently like this. You will solve it. You will make it simply like this. This is the R equivalent. And this is my battery. Fine. Okay. So you got 6 point. Sorry. You got 0 0.63 amperes. Alright. Alright. Fine. My one thing is done. See, formula wise, you all know the formulas, right? Simply, you just use what? Series and parallel combination. No. This and this. You got this answer. Fine. Equivalent resistance 6.33 and the 0.63 ampere is the current. All right. Correct. Very good. Next, the current flowing through each bulb now. So, I'll tell you, when this question is asked, again, there are multiple ways of doing it. When you see such kind of a circuit, what can be done? This is the total current. This is my current 1. This is my current 2. Correct? This much we understand. What happens in parallel? Current gets distributed. Fine. Correct? So, your total current came out to be 0.63 amperes. Alright? Now, what to do? Come on. See, it's, I'm telling you, this one question will clear a lot of doubts. So, focus, focus, right? Huh? Kadir is saying, change series to parallel. Uh, okay. Nice. 
I got an answer. Very good. Point two one. All right. A and B you are saying point two one. Cool. So tell me which one is easier to find first? Nice, Charvi. That's true. One is to two ratio. Correct. So see, that is nine point five ohms, na? It is nine point five ohms, and in parallel, we also know the voltage remains same, which means if it is four volts. Now focus, guys. See, I'm telling you multiple ways first. If it is four volts, means across x and y, it is four volts. Across this is also four volts. Now you can say. This four volt is across this bulb C. Resistance is nine point five ohms. So current will be how much? Four upon nine point five ohms. This is how much? This is you can find no. Correct? Yes, point four two for bulb C. That's true. That's true. So I see you will get point four two amperes. And if you got for bulb C, what you can do? There are two ways which you can go with. You have already calculated I. It is 0.63. So you can do I two. That is this one as total current minus the first one. See, gali ek thi jahan se do galiyan bat gayi, right? So what happened? Isme jitna current gaya, remaining to yaha gaya na. So you can what you can do from total minus that branch. Simple. Otherwise, what you can do again? This is four volt. Four upon 9.5 plus 9.5, right? You can also do 4 volts upon 9.5 ohms plus 9.5 ohms. This will also give you the same result, correct? So these are all multiple ways. Fine. So this is I A equals I B equals 0.21 ampere. See, this is a series combination. Means current will remain same. Whatever is A for A, that will be for B also. Correct? Fine. Paka. Take. So I equals, and this is something which we started with. I equals I C plus I A or I B. That's it. Fine. Yes, Kadir, you are right over there. Very good, very good. Both side. So till how? Till now, everybody is with me. Fine. Okay. Let's come to the question which uh, troubles us a lot. Which bulb will glow brighter? And find the power consumed by each bulb. What is that quantity? So Shashi Kala, I'll tell you. Uh, so you try to answer everyone. Which bulb will glow brighter? It's simple, no. You got this as 0.63 amperes. This is 4 volts. This is 9.5 ohms. So I can find this as 0.42 amperes. If this is 0.42, bacha hua, remaining, where will it go? It will be 0.63 minus 0.42. That is 0.21. Simple, hai na? So that's why I'm saying. Analyze the circuit. Don't remember. Don't cram things. Clear? Yes. So, what is the quantity which tells you? Nice. I can see bulb C is the correct answer. What is the quantity? It is power dissipation, है ना? And I'm telling the current power dissipation. See, power rating and power dissipating. These are two separate things. Don't be ever confused between them, है ना? Last question, Shashi. Shashi, uh, I have just explained in the here only. यहां पॉइंट फोर टू आया यहां पॉइंट टू वन आया क्यों आया बिकॉज दिस वॉज टोटल एंड दिस वॉज यू टू वेज यू कैन डू इट ना फोर वोल्ट इट्स पैरल इट्स सेम दैट्स वाई सो इट इज द पावर विच इज गिविंग यू द आंसर फाइन सो पावर ऑफ ए एंड पावर ऑफ सी सो पावर ऑफ सी हाउ विल यू कैलकुलेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेल मी दिस इज अनदर प्रॉब्लम ना ये एक और प्रॉब्लम होता है दिस इज अनदर प्रॉब्लम विच यू फेस Which formula should we use? V square upon R, I square R, or V into I, right? So let me ask. Shyams, power के साथ ना power के साथ हो जाता है power utilized. Heat को हम बोलते हैं dissipated. So power consumed or power used. Heat के साथ होता है heat uh, dissipated. Yes. See. देखो, I'll tell you first. This question has came, uh, has been coming in front of us for a very long time. Sir, which formula should we choose? Now let me ask you. If you are trying to find the power at this, the bulb C, it is 9.5 ohms. All right. Now, 
what do we know about this first of all let's take and take that into account i know it is 4 volts in parallel sir voltage remains same means this is 4 volts fine so i got the voltage fine i know the resistance all right i know a formula which gives me power with using voltage and resistance it is v square upon r all right you will get the thing you can use vc square upon rc simple but if you don't want to use it what you can do you also know the current it is 0 0.42 amperes right so you can use i square r also not a problem so are you getting my point it depends on you which formula you want to use based on what based on the values which you already have you know getting it so that's why you can do these things you know v into i also you can do you got v as 4 volts you have i as 0 0.42 so it's on you do whatever you want but choose the formula which suits you the most based on what values are given to you all right Cheek. second wale ki baat karte hai. this one see in this which one do you want to use <laughs> yeah i know yes correct disha v square upon r is less time consuming in second branch there are two bulbs hai na? Harsh, uh, Harsh Vardhani, understand this. If you are trying to find power, you have you have three formulas. V square upon R, I square R or V into I. Simple. Now, if you choose a bulb, see what values do you have for that resistance. Do I have voltage? Yes, you have voltage. Why? It's a parallel connection. So, 4 volt is given to you. Resistance, you know. You can find V square upon R. If you, if you know current, you can use I square upon R. You know both, you can use V into I. So, it's on you. But just think which one is less time consuming. And let's say second branch. Second branch, you can also use karenge. Tell me. Nice, Abhivyakti. You got the answer. Yes, that's correct. Dipanshu, you are right. I square R. Why I square R? See, you got the current as 0 0.21. Current is same for both the bulbs. So if you are trying to find power consumed, what do you need? Current to same, na? Hai na? So that's why you can use I square, I square R. Simple. Correct? Yes, Sheetal. Yes, you are right. Correct. That's true. So that's why. Yaha par I square R. Sir, what if, see, sometimes as a student, you think, na, sir, what if I want to use V square upon R? You know what? And guys, this is a very important thing. Focus, na. See, if you think, if you decide that I want to use V square upon R for the second bulb, for the second branch. So, understand. If you want to find power for bulb A, what do you need? Voltage dissipation or voltage used at bulb A. Iske across me mirko voltage chahiye. Right? So that voltage, I can use V square upon R. Correct? Or I need I. You can use I square R. So ab ye voltage kaise aayega? Total is 4 volts, right? In the second branch, total kitna hai? 4 volts. Fine. These two bulbs are identical, means voltage drop will be identical, means it should be how much? 2 volts and 2 volts, right? Getting it? No, 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 no. Shashikala, it's not out of the topic. So that's why. Dono bulb, they are identical. So if total is 4 volt, equal voltage will be dropped. But if they were not identical, then you can't do it directly. So that's why we recommend choosing current. If resistance of both the bulbs in series is different, their voltage drop is different, but current is same. So that's why we say use I square R. Simple, hai na? So got it for voltage also. All right. And so now you understand power. All right. For B also same thing. So for C, the power comes out to be 1.68 watt. For A, it is 0 0.42 watt. Now, obviously, if C is higher, it will glow brighter, right? Correct? So, this is what happened. Bulb C will glow brighter as it consumes more power. Yes? Ha, Lavia. Correct. Ha, aap ye kar sakte ho. Aap ye kyun kar sakte ho? Because tino bulb identical hai. Right? Second mein kya hai? Ke double resistance hai will branch ka. That's why. Yes, you can do. Yes? So, see, till now we have done a lot of theory. Such mein aisa hota hai? Do you know? Let's see. Let's see. Let's discuss one more thing. Potential difference across each bulb. V equals IR. Formula pata hota hai. Right? 
करेक्ट करंट इज सेम ना दिशा इन ए एंड बी द करंट इज सेम नॉट फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड ब्रांच राइट हाँ इफ रेजिस्टेंस वर डिफरेंट साइन आई एम सेइंग यूज करंट यूज आई स्क्वेयर आर बिकॉज करंट इज सेम इवन इफ रेजिस्टेंस इज डिफरेंट इन सीरीज करंट तो सेम रहता है ना करंट रिमेन सेम दैट्स वाई यस सो पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अक्रॉस ईच बल्ब सिंपल है ना इट्स अ पैरल ब्रांच यू वॉन्ट टू यूज आई इन टू आर यू हैव You have I and you have R, but if you want to find V, by parallel के अंदर तो V remains same. It should be four volts. It should be half of four volts. Why? Because two bulbs are identical. It should be two volts and two volts. Simple, right? So V A and V B should be two volts and V C should be four volts. Correct. Nice, Shreyansh. Correct. Yes. So यहाँ तक सब कुछ clear है. Everything is clear. Are you sure it is there? It is there. आकाश बाइजूस जे आकाश बाइजूस नीट यस पपी विल टॉक अबाउट दिस लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी यस एंड नॉट टुडे टू आज थोड़ा इस पे फोकस करते हैं बिकॉज आई एम टेलिंग यू ऑन दिस अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर कंफ्यूज्ड सो जस्ट फोकस और अभी आने वाला एक चीज सो व्हाट हैपेंड सीइंग अ सर्किट यू गेव अ लॉट ऑफ प्रेडिक्शंस राइट दिस इज द पावर ऑफ फिजिक्स गाइस राइट this is the power of physics it gives you ability to predict things right you can do some calculations you can say it should come that much so you know what i have here i have an exact same circuit what do you see this is the parallel branch this is the second branch two bulbs in series this is a switch battery i have i have right so that's why this is the exact same circuit i have made i mean not me actually my team has made and we have done a shot just coming just before coming to the session so that's why let's talk predictions and let's see does it really hold you know why why are we doing it because once we understand whatever we are learning today it is actually working in real model in real life that is something which clicks which gives us an idea yes it's all important let's see the first prediction you did was bulb c is brighter than bulb a and bulb b let's understand this using a video come on let's go and watch this video now this is an exact replica of the question we just discussed right we discussed what a battery and yes here i have an illuminator supplying four volts then i have a switch there is a series circuit of two bulbs and then we have a parallel connection of one bulb right so what did we predict we predicted that this bulb will glow brighter now let's see if physics is correct and yes that's the beauty of physics it gives you power to predict things and we predicted this bulb will glow brighter you can see it these two bulbs are comparatively much dim compared to this bulb right and that's why but why does this happen right we have understood this it's the power that governs which bulb will glow brighter all right so first thing was and guys hold on with your questions of drift velocity and coaching thing don't worry i'll take this afterwards but this was the first prediction right bulb c is glowing brighter than bulb a and b and yes it is happening quite visible right and it was very very amazing for me to test it right so that's why all right second prediction was total current in the circuit was 0.63 amperes all right let's see if whatever we calculated is it really that much or we are just going or you know just hawa mein teer maar rahe hain kya hum log let's see let's watch this video second one now it's time to see the current now this is the place where i have fixed the emitter it might be little confusing to see where the emitter is right now because of these wire connections i'll tell you this wire is going inside one of the terminal of the emitter and the other one is coming out and going into the eliminator so it's a series connection of the emitter which actually we do always right so this is the place where we have fixed the emitter now let's see what the current is coming watch it's 0.62 ampere and what did you predict you know right asli hai wo emitter nakli nahi hai <laughs> all right so what did you see it was 0.62 ampere right sir we calculated 0.63 ampere all right don't worry don't worry when you when you do signs 
these situations will often come in front of you. My calculation was this much, but I'm getting a little bit. Have you ever heard that of the uh, of the chapter error, right? Correct. Third one, voltages. Ammeter was connected in series. Voltmeter needs to be connected in parallel. So let's see, right? So VC we have predicted it should be around four volts. It should be around two volts. V and V B and VC should be V A plus V B. Let's see. Let's see in this video. Action. All right. We have seen power. We have seen the current. It's time to take voltage into account. All right. So let's first of all check the voltage of this bulb right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure the voltage across this bulb first so let's see so these are two clips here's a voltmeter what i'm going to do is i'll just connect it like this it's a parallel connection right how much the reading 3.87 or 3.86 fair enough right we expected 4 but still we are getting 3.86 don't worry we'll discuss about this fine let's take the reading of this one now the bulb a let's see how much it's coming all right it's 2.04 all right okay nice pretty much near to what we expected fine let's see about this one about 1.86 1.87 I hope there is no loose connection over here. Yes, this is one point eight five. All right, all right. Fine. Now, this is one more connection remaining. Let's see how much is at these two ends. It is three point nine one. All right. Yes, the readings are pretty much close to what we expected, but still there is some difference. Why is it? amazing right and yes wire resistance ideally we say what connecting wires are zero resistance so whenever you do practicals simple practicals also v equals ir we assume the line should be straight we should get all straight points but kya aise aate hain no the points come out to be like this if your line should be like this your points come out to be some like this like this yes errors will always be there that is the beauty of doing practicals You see, you predict something. Where you land, near to that, close enough. That's good enough, also, right? And yes, uh, Shreyansh, you are right over there. Yes, there are and these connections, joints, and everything. They are not always perfect. The uh, the connecting wires and all these things, and that's why errors come. But did you notice? We were close enough, right? Whatever you calculated, that is the actual thing which was coming. Yes, Bilkul Disha. you are most welcome and yes sheetal i saw your comment you are right you are right so all these things are there moving coil galvanometer and all these things so from that we come to uh, emitters and voltmeters and yes see needle has to move means we are somehow thinking of force on a current carrying conductor right yes that's true <laughs> yes yes i'll have some water correct so that was that was the idea behind doing this question you analyze every every possible value in that question and then see is it really practically enough and that's why correct yeah you cannot predict the nature but you know what till then i mean before we made a connecting wires battery and everything electricity was also what natural phenomena you tamed the natural phenomena right so that's why nature gives science science gives nature somehow these are interconnected right science is not something we have invented or created we have discovered it it was there you just started understanding it lightning it was there right you just started understanding it simple hai right? na yes 
So that was the idea behind this one particular question to clear your doubts about power, brightness, voltage, current, heat and all these things. Yes? Alright. Next set. Next set of questions is Yes, Yogi, definitely. Correct? So the only idea I did was because before boards now, this uh, motivation should be there. Whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm learning, it's there in the practical. In the real world, it's there. It is used. Alright? And we'll do more such things in future. Don't worry. So, this was one question we did in Menti. How many of you were there in the Menti? Harishad, ha, ye ek cheez hai. Errors kai baar aap nahi dhoon sakte ho. There are some human errors, right? There are some technical or, or the uh, instrument based errors. So errors is something you have to calculate in percentage. You see in error analysis in the in the 11th, it's the first chapter, uncertainty and error analysis. So you will do that. But it's not, it cannot be calculated always. And there's a whole probability and distributions and everything come there. Yes, you were there. Very good. So you remember this question, na? calculate the amount of heat dissipated in 10 seconds by a 40 volt 100 volt bulb when connected as shown in the figure. So this was the figure. Right. Do you see how many people were there? <laughs> I mean, see, I understand a lot of you must have been wrong in this question because only 13 people got it correct. 108 plus 96 plus 16 people got it wrong. So the reason I'm coming back for this question is because I see where you made a mistake and this is one mistake which I don't want you to repeat again, right? So yeah, yeah, understand, understand, that's true. So understand what is the difference, and someone asked me difference between power rating and power consumed, right? This is the difference. What is this? It is the power rating. This is the power rating. This is what? This is the voltage rating. Assume a bulb is made in ideal conditions. A bulb is said this bulb will work perfectly if you give him 100 volt. It will give you how much? It will it will consume how much power? 40 watt. But now are you doing it? Anna? Are you doing it? No, you are not doing it. You are giving the bulb only 50 volts. So always remember whenever you try to apply now, will this bulb give you 40 watts? No, it will not give you 40 watts. There is one easy way which I won't tell you right now. I want you to understand the clear way. What is the clearer way? 40 watt and 100 volt. With these two values, always you can find the resistance, right? You can find the resistance. So resistance will be how much? Come on, tell me. My power was V square upon R. So R will be V square upon P. That is 100 into 100. 40 correct so we got 250 ohms this was my resistance of the bulb so once you calculate resistance of a device it is fixed right it won't change if you change the voltage or the currents resistance will remain fixed no Anna? so that's why 250 ohm is the resistance you have got now forget about this bulb just think this question is how much a resistance of 250 ohms and a battery of 50 volts and question is heat dissipated in 10 seconds heat dissipated in 10 seconds can you find it yes you can find it right you can find it voltage is given to you resistance is given to you time is given to you simply just apply the formula v square upon r into t and you will get the answer as 100 joules. Yes, Disha. Now you have to consider 50 volts. Anna? Hello, Sam. Correct? So that's why I'm saying in these questions, don't be afraid. Just slowly, slowly understand power rate. Whenever power rating is given to you, what is easy to find? It's resistance. All right. But if this bulb was connected across 100 volt, it would have been simple. Anna? Agar ye pachas nahi hota. If this was not 50, it was 100 volts only and you were asked, find heat dissipated in 10 seconds. Now you understand, if 100 volt is the voltage rating, 100 volt is the voltage supplied, it will dissipate 40 watt in 10 seconds, 
how much would have been the heat dissipation? 40 multiplied by 10. Simple, right? Correct. So that's why I'm saying understand a question. There are various various ways in which a question can be twisted. Direct to Jata. Ha Rishad, you are right. Hai na? So simply question ko padna hai. You just have to understand the question, what is given to you and what is asked very clearly. Resistance same rahega, right? Resistance kaise change hoga? Did you change dimension of the, of the wire? No. Did you change temperature? No. It is given to you in the question? No. So if device is same, resistance of the device will remain same. No. Hai na? Tick. So that was the first question. Second question. Oh, Siddhi, sorry. So I see the account name and that's what comes in my mind. Correct? Yes. See, power consumed and dissipate uh, in these all these calculations, now we assume that whatever power it's consuming, it is converting it directly into, it's energy conversion, no? electricity to light. So we are assuming light and heat, that 100% conversion is happening. So that's why it's a gray area. We say consumed and dissipated, it's equal, because we assume there is zero loss also. That's why, huh? Huh, why not calculate current here, okay? So, if this was your question, 250 ohms and 50 volts. 50 volts will be dropping on this 250 ohms. Simple, right? So that's why V is given to you, R is given to you. If you want to do it using current, you can do it. You can do it. You find this current. You will find current using V equals IR. So you will say 50 upon 50 upon 250, right? This will be your current. Correct. You will say I square R. So, you will say 50 upon 250 multiplied by 50 upon 250 multiplied by 250. Is it not V square upon R? Same thing, na? Get, don't get confused. Why not current or why not voltage? It's the same thing. It's just you should be clear of what you can find faster. Fine. Yes? Ha, this was the second question. Aluminium wire of resistance 1 ohm is stretched to double its length. What will be its new resistance? This was another question. Yes, Abhivyakti, you are right. Ha, which formula to use? Na? You can see what is constant or what is that value which is in front of you quickly. In this question, voltage was in front of you, current you had to find, all right? So I use V upon R, V square upon R. In that question, in this question, if you want to find power of this, voltage drop, you have to calculate. But if you know current, current to isme or isme same rata hai na? So it's simple, you can use I square R. So I'm telling, okay, focus on what values you have and which value will be easier to calculate. Okay? All right? Yes, fine. So this question, the problem was stretched. See, I told this last time also. We are so in, we are just in so much hurry to solve a question that we often forget what the question's language is trying to tell us. That language is telling you, it is stretched to double its length. Anna? Right? Correct? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Pramita. Yes? So that's why. What I'm saying is, the question is asking you what? Stretched to. What does it mean? There was a wire, you stretched its length. How much? Double. But when you stretch something, are you cutting it? Are you doing something? Material, whatever material was there, it is still there. No. You just increased its length. Will there be effect on the area? Yes. Right? So tomorrow if the question says, you contracted a wire, still the material remains same. That's why volume remains same. Correct, Sangeeta? Yes. So, nervous nahi hona question. Don't be nervous looking at a question. Resistance is given to you. It's stretched to double its length. And tomorrow, let's say one variation comes uh, that it is, the length is doubled for a wire. What will be the new resistance? In this question, are you changing something else also? Right? Yes, Yogi. That was one more point. Rate of dissipation wala. Yes. 
रेट ऑफ हीट डिसिपेशन क्या होता है वट इज रेट ऑफ हीट डिसिपेशन पावर दैट्स ट्रू है ना सो वेन एवर इट इज आस रेट ऑफ हीट डिसिपेशन यस करेक्ट चारवी यस यू आर राइट यस सो इफ द क्वेश्चन इज इफ सम हाउ टूमोरो क्वेश्चन इज लेंथ इज डबल्ड है ना नथिंग एल्स मीन्स इट इज लेंथ इज डबल्ड सो मार्क दीज वर्ड स्ट्रेच कॉन्ट्रैक्टेड है ना सो दैट्स वाई दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड विच टेल यू दैट ओ द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द मटीरियल इज स्टिल सेम है अमाउंट ऑफ मटीरियल इज स्टिल सेम सो दैट्स वाई एनर्जी बिकॉज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो एनर्जी वॉट हीट एनर्जी लाइट एनर्जी इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी सो ऑल दीज आर एनर्जी Yes, yes. So yes, you're right. So the main thing here was this one ohm to double its length. So R equals what? Rho L upon A. Correct. Fine. Now L dash will be twice of the previous length. All right. A dash is how much? I don't know. All right. So that's why what I'm doing is. A dash multiplied by L dash should be equal to A multiplied by L. Why? Because area, if let's say this is your wire, this is your cross-sectional area, and this is your length, right? So area multiplied by length gives you what? Volume. What is volume of a cylinder? Volume is pi r square L or h, है ना? Pi r square h. Pi r square is A. H is L. So don't be confused with this. Correct? Fine. Yes. <laughs> All right. So that's why a into l equals a dash. I don't know. L dash is twice of l. So what did you get? You get a dash equals a by two. Simple. Now you can find r equals rho into twice of l upon r. Sorry, upon a by two. So r equals rho. Into four into l upon a. Now rho l upon a is r, and this is r dash. So r dash equals four times of r. Simple, easy. All right, nice. So this was also a simple question. Now third question. Although, although I'm really happy that many of the students gave correct answer for this, but still, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So last question was right. Last question, last question. Me, what was it? It's just stretched. So what did you, what did you find finally? That a dash will be a by two. So whenever a question says stretched, contracted, you just think that volume will remain same, है ना? Length will increase, so area will decrease. If length decreases, area will increase. So these things are important. Fine. Now this question was easy, but you know what? In magnetic effect of electric current. what a question can ask let me tell you most subjective questions come from motor principle working why do we have commutator why do we have split rings right why do we have carbon brushes second uh, right hand thumb rule magnetic vector field lines right all these things so these are all very easy questions right all right so in this the question was a charged particle enters a magnetic field as shown if the direction of force acting on the particles is into the screen the particle can be what the reason i'm telling you this is one of the most com uh, complicated questions in magnetic effect because often we tend to forget what happens see force whenever force is asked which which hand do you use left hand no you call fbi force magnetic field and current right so fine now what happened it says particle is into the screen this is the force acting into the screen all right so force is into the screen this is my magnetic field so current coming this side my current is coming on this side what is current whenever i have a battery like this i say current is in this direction no so what is this positive what is this negative we say current is the direction of flowing positive charges so all right if current is coming out to be in this direction but my charged particle is shown in this direction they are opposite no right they are opposite means 
this was positive so this is negative simple so that's why it was electrons correct right right hand thumb rule formula was motion first of all right hand right hand thumb rule was saying you thumb goes in the direction of current and this gives you magnetic field and then right hand rule was fleming's right hand rule was this was current this was magnetic field this was motion if you move a conductor in a magnetic field then which side the current will be induced right so answer is electrons because from your analysis you got current should be in this direction and current is what the flow of positive charges but the question is saying that charged particle is going in opposite direction iska matlab this charged particle is opposite to plus what is opposite to plus it is minus that's why hai na yes this question this was also an easy question ha aditya don't worry these questions are coming towards you fine an electric fan consumes 80 watts when connected to 220 volt supply all right so how much power will be consumed when connected to a 110 volt supply what do you think what do you think in this question and that 50 volt 100 volt 40 watt wala question it's almost similar no oh nice rasleen that's true beta particle yes i'm good lakshmi yes so electric fan is given to you it consumes 80 watt when connected to a 220 volt supply how much power will it consume when connected to a 110 volt supply yes very good yeah yeah lakshmi has given the reply no lakshmi is asking how how, how am i water break this is the last question guys don't worry don't worry बस ये खत्म करते हैं डन डन नाइस सो दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज प्रिटी सिंपल इफ आई टेल यू कंज्यूम्स 80 वॉट्स कनेक्टेड 220 ट्वेंटी वोल्ट सप्लाई हाउ मच पावर विल कंज्यूम इन हंड्रेड एंड वोल्ट सप्लाई सो वॉट रिमेन सेम आई आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दिस वंस यू चूज अ डिवाइस इट्स रेजिस्टेंस रिमेन सेम नो यू चेंज द वोल्टेज पावर विल चेंज करंट विल चेंज इट्स ओके बट रेजिस्टेंस रिमेन सेम so that's why if r needs to be same which means v square upon p should be equated means 220 multiplied by 220 upon power is 80 should be equal to 110 multiplied by 110 upon that is the second power so this is what 2 and 2 this is what 20 so p2 is 20 watts and this is how this question needs to be done no need to find resistance separately hai na Yes, correct अभिव्यक्ति Yes. चलो ठीक है Last question. This is the this is the question which I think Yogi was asking. Yes. Don't worry, don't worry. Rate of heat dissipation of a toaster. Whenever any question asks you rate of heat dissipation, rate of energy dissipation, rate of got it? This is what rate gives you feeling. Oh, power is given to you. No, rate of heat dissipation is this is power, right? So heat dissipation word this gives you feeling. Oh, heat is asked. Huh? No, rate of heat dissipation that is what power. So that's why in this question, five ampere current connected to two twenty volt supply for five seconds. You have to find what? You have to find power. Oh, okay. P equals V I. You are saying, na? तो आई कैसे निकालोगे आप हाँ यू कैन यू कैन नहीं 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 एक सेकंड एक सेकंड यू आर सेइंग कि फ्रॉम 80 वॉट एंड 220 ट्वेंटी वोल्ट यू कैन फाइंड करंट एंड यूजिंग दैट करंट यू मल्टीप्लाई इट सो अंडरस्टैंड दिस वोल्टेज इज चेंजिंग नो सो करंट विल आल्सो चेंज डू यू थिंक करंट विल रिमेन सेम अच्छा नाइस लाव इट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन इट्स इट्स अ गुड क्वेश्चन so what lavi so guys understand understand what lavi is saying lavi is saying if from 80 watts i say 80 watts is 220 multiplied by current and i find current from here so this current i take and multiplied by 110 to find the new power 
Yes, current will reduce. Why? Voltage reduced. Array, if it is 10 ohms and it is across 220 volt, how much current is there? 22 ampere. If it is 10 ohms across 110 volts, it is how much? 11 ampere. Current to change ho jayega na? Correct. Yes. So that's why. Don't make this mistake. <laughs> yes, yes, Tish, I remember. So that's why. This is simple question, right? So current is 5 ampere, voltage is 220 volt and time is 5 seconds. So simple, right? You just have to find power equals what? V into I. And do you see the question is giving you time so that you make V into I into T, but you will not. So that's why it will be 1.1 kilowatt, right? So, do you understand why we did this session? I'm, ex I'm expecting that you have understood these were the pain points throughout physics for a lot of students. That's why I'm saying, so, okay. I'm explaining this one again, all right, guys? Rate of heat dissipation, matlab, power. What is power? V into I, not V into I into T. That is heat dissipation. So that's why use V into I, right? Yes, for confusion, time is given to you. Yeah, I'm telling you, all right? So that's why I'm saying, this session was only intended to give you motivation, to give you confidence because I remember after Menti, I saw a lot of students thinking that time pressure was there and we got so many questions incorrect. So that's why I'm saying, don't worry guys, you are there. Everything you have learned well, just relax. Don't panic first of all, you are good to go. You will rock your sessions, I'm pretty sure. And you know what, you'll make us proud. So don't worry. We have got you covered. We have tried this whole academy here to get you covered. And yes, that was the intent. I'm pretty sure you will do the same. All right. And people who are, who, who, whom th uh, the people who think they are weak in some concept, all these series are there on the channel. All right. Explore it. See whatever topic you feel you want to study again. Read it. Listen to it. See the video again. It is there. Menti Ekor Disha. I can't promise. Let's see. All right. See, your your exams are very near. I don't want to just get you overwhelmed. All right. So let's see. Nay, nay, Ayush, wo nahi hai. So there's a trial class in the description. And please like, share, subscribe. People who are junior to you, who have just uh, reached in class six, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Let them know. We have started the new academic sessions. Right. Aditya, ha, this we can think of. Give us some time, all right? But I'm telling you, you are there. You know? Don't worry. Everything is sorted for you. This exam, you will rock it, all right? So thank you, guys. Take care and don't lose confidence. That's, that's my guys. Very good. Thank you for joining. You know what? We'll see you in another session. Bye-bye.